Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. As we're entering inside a recession, you are going to start to find stocks that has a 40% swing from the all-time highs to the all-time lows. You are going to start to find stocks that you are comfortable investing to inside your own price range. Now, if we take a look at the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY over the last year, they're down 16, almost 17%, but they still have a little ways to go to pull all the way back down to the uh, pre-COVID era. So hopefully by the time this video comes out, the S&P 500 could pull back even more because as investors, we do not want to invest into good quality companies at their all time highs. We want to invest into good quality companies at a fair value or near to fair value and that's what we're going to be doing today guys in this video i'm going to show you guys seven different companies that either had a significant pullback or near their 52 week lows we're going to take a look at those companies i'm going to be dollar costing averaging in on those companies dollar cost averaging is when i buy a certain stock no matter what the price point is uh i could be buying one share a week no matter what the price point is that is called dollar cost averaging so when the price is up, I buy one share. And then when the price pull back, I buy one share. And then that kind of averages out my price. But when companies do pull back inside a certain price range that I am very comfortable with uh, throwing in a large lump sum of money, that's when I go in and buy maybe 10, 20, 100 shares worth of a certain company when they reach a certain price point that I'm comfortable buying these stocks at. So I'm gonna show you guys what seven companies that had a significant pullback in this video. So put out your pens and papers, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any crucial information and stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you guys seven good quality stocks. These are not penny stocks. These are not meme stocks. These are good quality stocks that, um, many investors already have inside their portfolio so hopefully we could get them at a good price at a fair value so we can maximize our return on our investments but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by Webull. sign up now clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money you receive up to 12 free stocks so those free stocks you can keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell those free stocks with all of your money guys it's literally free money also, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Moo Moo. Sign up, deposit $100, you get 15 free stocks. Once again, you could keep them inside the platform and use it, or you can sell it. It's free money, guys. Do not miss out on that amazing opportunity. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Here we are. The first one is Disney, ticker symbol DIS. Now, Disney is probably now the largest streaming platform that is out there. They have Hulu, they have Disney Plus, and they also have ESPN Live. Now, that means they're going to end up making a lot of money in the future. Now, if we take a look at them over the last year, they are down 45%. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, hey, uh, this is a good quality company that is down 45%, but we take a look at the five year, they still could pull back just a little bit more. So uh, even though Disney is a steal for me under $94, I'm not going to throw in a large lump sum until it's under around $80, $79, $78. That's when I really see Disney at an amazing value for me personally. That's why I see Disney at amazing value. And I will go in and buy up a bunch of their shares. Now, Disney, if you take a look at their PE ratio, this is another way that you can find out if a company is over or undervalued um, depending on the sector uh, I did a PE video not too long ago that would make this video too long but the PE ratio right here is 54.82 percent for Disney so right now it's still a little bit overvalued if we take a look at the Disney 52 week high that was up to 179 dollars and the 52 week low is 90 dollars so they're near that 52 week low it could pull back a little bit underneath that that's what we're hoping for so we could get a good quality company at a fair value so let's move on to stock number two okay stock number two is apple over the last year they are down three percent over the last five years they are up 256 percent i do see apple as undervalued but if apple do pulls under a hundred dollars say let's say around um the 99 dollar price point over the next couple of months apple is going to be a steal for me at 99 dollars. right now it's at 137 i'm going to continue to dollar cost average in on apple i'm going to buy a share here or there every single week until i'm comfortable enough throwing in a large lump sum but apple is another company that i have on my radar that over the last month they have pulled back 12 percent a lot of new investors are going to say hey it's down 12 percent i need to buy up 
True, you could dollar cost average in, but I do think that it has a long way to pull back so that Apple could have a fair value. You will probably never buy Apple at the true fair value because they are a monopoly, but uh, 137 for me is still overpriced. So I'm still going to just buy one or two shares here and there until it pulls back to a certain price point to, to where I'm going to throw in a large lump sum of money and buy up Apple. So let's move on to stock number three. Stock number three is Nike. Over the last year, they're down 42% as well. If we take a look at their 52 week high it was up to 179 dollars and 10 cents 52 week low is 82 dollars and 33 cents and right now apple at the recording of this video is at 82 dollars and 87 cents once again once this video comes out i hope that is at a lower price than um 82 dollars and 87 cents could it go up yes could it pull back hopefully that's what we're hoping for but um, I am a consumer of Nike. I do buy their shoes. I do buy their um, clothing line. So Apple is another one that I need to have inside of my portfolio. So for me, if, if Nike does pull back to around the 67, 68, underneath 70 dollars, I will buy up Nike in a large lump sum at that price point. But right now, 82 dollars, I think it does have a little more to pull back on to give us a better value on nike all right the next company is visa visa there it goes now on visa over the last year they are down 20 percent over the last month they're down 10 percent they had an all-time high over the last 52 weeks of 236 dollars and 96 cents and the 52 week low of around 174 dollars and 83 cents i want to have more of visa inside of my portfolio i don't own much of any right now but visa everyone have them inside of their wallet everyone have them inside of their purse this is a company that's going to be around forever this is a real known high value good quality company so if visa does continue to pull back let's say to around um, 100 un, uh, under 150 dollars that's why i'm going to go in and start building my position on visa now i know a lot of you guys are saying hey what if these companies don't pull back what if they don't pull back to the price point you're not comfortable buying that so that basically saying that yes i am going to miss out on some good quality companies because i was afraid to buy them at a certain price point yes i am going to miss out on some good quality companies so if visa never pulls back underneath 150 this is probably be a company i would never have inside of my portfolio but i love investing and having good valued companies inside of my portfolio at a good price to, to maximize my return on my investments to make it less risky inside of my portfolio i learned my lesson over the years other than just throwing in large sums uh, just because it's a hype stock and i want to get it no matter what the price was i learned my lesson so if, if these price points don't pull back then i might not own a couple of these inside of my portfolio now a lot of other youtubers won't say that inside of their uh, videos but i'm here to help you guys out to learn from my mistakes i'm not a financial advisor but i'm telling guys how i've been successful inside the stock market over the last couple of years the next one is google ticker symbol g-o-o-g-l now google underneath 100 dollars is a really good deal for me right now uh, google is right now google is at 95 dollars 82 cents and over the last year they pulled back 28 percent now right now this is a pretty good time for me to invest into google it's a good quality company it's underneath 100 dollars, so i might actually buy up a couple of shares over the next couple of weeks as long as the price point stays under 100 dollars, i'm going to continue to buy up google so this is one that you could add to your list and do your own research on the next one is one very similar to google that's microsoft msft here we are on Microsoft. Microsoft over the last year is down 17%. Um, 52 week high was $349.67. 52 week low is $232.73. So we're very near the 52 week low. This is another great quality company that we want to uh, take a look at and add to our watch list because if Google pulls back under 220, 210, 215, yeah, if it pulls back underneath that price point, 215, 220, then that's going to be a good time for us to go in and dollar cost average. The reason I like Microsoft is because they're a great company and they have um, stock buybacks every year. So the less stocks that's out there, the more value they add to the stocks that you do have inside of your portfolio. Well, the shares, shares, not stocks, shares, the more the less shares that's out there, the more value it adds to the shares that's inside of your portfolio. 
And the last one, guys, is Costco. Over the last month, they're down 9.65%. They're still not in my buy range. So if Costco pulls back a significant amount, let's say around the 300-ish dollar price range, around 300, 310, that still will be a little bit overvalued for me. But if Costco does pull back all the way to around the $300 price range, that's when I'm going to go in and probably scoop up a couple of their shares. They had a 52-week high of $612 and a 52-week low of $406. So they still have a little ways to go from the 472 all the way down to the 52 week low of 406. So remember, guys, during recession, when these stocks are pulling back, we want to find good quality companies at a fair to undervalued price. If you guys want to find some good quality companies at a fair value, you could use Webull uh, with the link down in the description. You can hit search, then you can hit screener right there, and then you could create a new screener. You can set it by market cap, anything over a billion dollars. You can search it by the PE ratio, or you can look under the technical indicator under the RSI, the relative strength indicator, and you can look for anything that's oversold. That means it's undervalued, and you can look for good quality companies. That way, you can hit done and start your screener, and a list of companies to come up that way. You can find good quality companies at a fair value, and Weeble will give you everything in that list as well as Moomoo. Both of those links are down in the description. So yeah, guys, that's how I find good quality companies at a fair price by using those screeners. And though in the seven that I brought you today were some of the ones that popped out. So don't go in and rush and buy a penny stock or a hype stock just because you feel like you have to have them inside your portfolio. If you feel that it's overvalued, just wait. I promise you the price will pull back to a price point that you're very comfortable investing into that same exact stock, that same exact company at a cheaper price. So will you miss out on a couple of stocks inside of your portfolio? Yes, you will. But will you get some good quality companies at an amazing value? That is the game that we call investing. And that is how we win the game is investing into good quality stocks at a fair value. If I miss any stocks on this list, let me know down in the comment section. Um, I love to check out what stocks I miss and what company and what companies you guys are investing into over the next couple of weeks um, while the stock market has been pulling back. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any crucial information. Also, if you guys do want to know anytime I buy and sell a stock, I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the comment section to my Patreon, my Patreon to take you to my Discord. Over there, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post my option trades, my day trades, my technical analysis, my swing trades, and I also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a great community of investors that want to be financially free just like you go on ahead and check out that link down in the pinned comment section but other than that guys i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace